There is a very strong anointing right now, and a strong anointing on David. And I wanna, I wanna hear from Vladimir too. I really feel that, you know, as young people, those of you watching on Facebook and YouTube, and those of us who are here, we are stepping into the last hour. And example I see that in my spirit is what happened to Samson. Samson, when he was consecrated to God, he was anointed. And that's how the church was in the book of Acts. They were dedicated. They were consecrated. There was an anointing of God upon the church. And then through Middle Ages, things started to go off. Church started to compromise. Church started to forsake holiness. The fear of God. Miracles stopped. Church became popular, but it was no longer powerful. And that's what happened to church in Middle Ages. Christians started to kill other people instead of using the power of God. But something happened to Samson. He lost his vision, he lost his hair, and he lost his freedom. That's what happened to church. But then about a hundred years ago, through the Reformation, then through the Azusa Street, through the restoration of the miracles, through the restoration of speaking in tongues, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, as the Samson in jail started going in circles, his hair started to grow back. That's exactly what started to happen to church. Things started to be restored. But what I love about my generation is the Bible says that his greatest victory, Samson's greatest victory was at the last, right before he died. But if you remember the Bible says that Samson took a lad, a teenager, and together with the teenager he went to his greatest victory. I believe God is taking the young generation, the teenagers, the kids, and taking the wisdom of the of the older generation and combining together not a conflict of generations but the community of generations the connection of two generations and i believe that the greatest revival is not going to be of the young people or the old people it's going to be two generations joining together and bringing the church to its greatest hour the greatest miracles that we haven't seen yet the greatest stadiums that are going to be filled the resurrection of the dead the demons that will be cast out our schools that will be shifted because in the last days says the Lord I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh the old will see dreams but the young will prophesy I believe that the church we the young people we have to join the hands of the church today we have to commit to holiness once again we have to commit to the fear of God once again not just know the love of God but know the fear of God walk in the holiness of God and to understand that it's not just our education it's the anointing of God it's not just our cleverness. It's not just our being tech savvy. It's being connected to the Holy Spirit. And Pastor Benny, and I believe what you paved the way, we have to now pick up that mantle and join together with the generation that went before us and take the church together with the generals like you and the men of faith who went before us and take the church into its greatest hour. The Bible says the world will only get darker but we have the greatest victory is still facing us the greatest miracles and the greatest revivals I'm, speed, I'm, I'm frankly uh, overwhelmed by what I'm sensing here and I am so moved by the anointing 